NHS to use celebrities in drive to encourage COVID vaccine take up. NHS bosses plan to enlist celebrities and influencers in a major campaign to persuade people to have a COVID vaccine amid fears of low take up. Ministers and NHS England are drawing up a list of very sensible, famous faces in the hope their advice would be widely trusted, The Guardian has learned. So the government and the NHS are going to be choosing very sensible, famous faces and influencers to make sure that they're pushing the COVID vaccine. So that's what the NHS are doing and that's what ministers are doing. Now listen, you know what? They're saying this is going to happen amid fears of a low take up. So if there was a real pandemic going on, if people were popping off dead around you, everywhere around you, yeah, there wouldn't be a low take up on it. People would see that it was a very serious thing and there would be no issues with wanting to take a vaccine if it was indeed going to help you with your life. But considering there is no issues that they're telling us and we're not seeing it as it is, you know, beds aren't overrun, NHS ain't overrun, it's not happening. If that was happening, indeed, the Nightingale Hospital would be overrun itself. If we're being told that all the NHS hospitals are overrun, right, then the NHS hospital Nightingale would be getting used at the moment. But it's not. It's empty. OK, so for them to now be using influencers and very sensible, famous faces to tell us that we must get vaccinated. If you don't see through that at this point, if you don't see the bigger picture in that itself, then there are issues. There are issues there anyway, if you don't see that. If they're trying to get people to influence you to take a vaccine and not because there are real issues and you should take it because it would protect you, it's not that. It's influencing you to do something that you don't want to do that we've seen ministers and MPs themselves not doing. Let's go back to Sadiq Khan. So I'm taking it Sadiq Khan, maybe one of these ministers, he's the mayor of London, is he going to be involved in this? What influences will Sadiq Khan be choosing, I wonder, as he sits there faking taking the flu jab? Cap still on the needle, shirt not even rolled up. These are the type of people that are paying. They will be paying influencers. That means social media users. They'll be paying Instagrammers to tell you to go and stick a needle in your arm of, of, of what content. God knows what that is. But they are getting paid to tell you what to do. And the very sensible, famous faces that will be chosen will also be telling you what to do. Yeah. So why don't we have a little guessing game? So in the comments today, I want you to draw up a little list of who do you think is the very sensible face that the ministers and the NHS are going to choose? Let's have a little game. Let's play with this. So write a list down below. Famous faces you think they're going to use and also influencers online. I don't know too many of the TikTokers and the Instagrammers, but who do you think they're going to use? Who do you think they're going to line the pockets to tell them to get us to, to get in to get the vaccine? And I'm telling you, these influencers online, yeah, I don't know about the famous faces and how much they get paid, but the influencers online, it was an undisclosed amount. They were given an undisclosed amount to tell people to go and get tested. This is people on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. They were getting paid by the ministers and probably the NHS to get people to go and get tested. Now it's changed. Now these same people same people who are selling us out and pushing us to the front of the queue, these influencers and very sensible, famous faces, yeah, are now going to be getting paid undisclosed amounts to tell you to get a needle in your arm when we've seen them publicly not get the needle themselves and style out that they're getting injected. This is beyond a joke. So, as I said, yeah, in the comments today, I want you to write down who do you think the very sensible, famous faces will be that the government and the NHS will choose? And who do you think the influencers are online? They're online now, they're doing it now. Who are these people? Let's out them. Let's go to their pages and actually ask them how much they're being paid for this propaganda. Yeah, this is propaganda, but this is legal propaganda. It's OK if the ministers and the NHS pay off people to, to say their shit. Propaganda like that is fine.
Peace out.